Hey guys, it's Drunken Canadian, uh, again from uh, InfinityLogic.net. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a uh, guessing game in C++. I've already gone ahead and opened up a um, solution, and I guess I'll go ahead and start typing and you guys can just follow along. First we're going to need to include the standard input-output stream, so... And to allow us to generate a random number for our guessing name, we're going to um, need to seed it. So um, our random number isn't always the same. So to do that, we're going to include the um, time.h library. And of course, using namespace std. And our main function okay so now that we have all this laid out I'm gonna go ahead and do return zero so I don't have to do it later because I'm lazy whoops if only I could spell alright so we're gonna go ahead and create our variables for the um, guessing game um, int guesses is going to be the number of guesses that the user is going to be allowed. Um, int guess is going to be the guess that the user has um, obviously guessed or chosen. And int answer is going to be the random number that our um, program generates. That's going to be, well, the answer. So let's go ahead and create our random number. We're going to type out srand time and null. This is going to seed our random number so that way it doesn't come out the same every time we start the program. Now by doing answer equals rand um, mod 20 plus 1, that will generate a random number between 1 and 20. So let's go ahead and just type out kind of a welcome message for our user when they go ahead and open up the program. Alright, so there's our little welcome message for the user. Um, it's basically gonna um, the guesses variable in there um, prints out the amount of guesses the user will be allowed to use before they are either wrong or the application just closes. So now we're gonna do for int i equals zero i less than guesses i plus plus. This is uh, basically saying, while the guesses is less than the amount of guesses that the user, or i is less than the amount of guesses the user is allowed, do whatever we put in the for loop. So now let's output what guess they're on. And we're going to do i plus 1 because Otherwise, we're going to have a starting number of zero. And now we're going to use cn to get our variable guesses, or sorry, guess. Now we're going to use if guess doesn't equal um, answer. So anything in here is if the guess the user has typed in does not equal the answer, then we're going to do another if. Um, oops, don't need those brackets since it's only going to be one line of code underneath. If guess is greater than answer, output too high.
And then else, we're going to print out too low. And now outside of the if and else, we're going to put an else. So that would mean if answer or if guess does equal answer, we're gonna um, print out that the user guessed correctly. And we're gonna do system pause to uh, stop the application from closing. and then a return zero to close the application after the user hits enter. Outside of the for loop, so if they don't get the U1 message, they've gone over the for loop because they had too many guesses, obviously they have lost and they did not guess correctly. So, we're gonna put out you lost. And then a sad face. And we're going to do another system pause so it doesn't close. Oh, actually, before we do that, we're going to output the right answer. So that way they can figure out how close they were, or how close they were to winning. And there we go. That's the code for our game. Whoops, I guess I spelled pause wrong. There we go. So let's go ahead and debug this. And, oh, we got a bug. No. Oh, I see what it is. There we go. Forgot to put it all in caps. Let's go ahead and try that again. All right, let's go ahead and take my chance at this and find out if I can win. How about 10? Oh, too low. 15? How about 20? Oh, I'm in 17. Oh, it was 16. I was close. Well, there we have it, guys. Our little guessing came coded in about 8 minutes. Not too bad, eh? But um, if you have any questions, head over to infinitylogic.net. We have a great community. More members are joining every day. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And thanks for watching.